all time. Hello, it's me, Deputy David. I'm down here at the Swords and the Plowshares Art Gallery at 33 East Adams in downtown Detroit, Michigan. And uh, tonight's the show, and I've got to put my mask back on. And uh, it's a show about diversity. And this uh, art gallery is uh, right next to the Central United Methodist Church, who is a major sponsor of this art gallery. And so I've come down here to see an opening of a show called Diversity. And uh, come along, I'll show you what I can of the show. At the Art is a Human Right Art Gallery show, I was fortunate enough to get to talk to some of the artists there. The first artist I spoke with was Jeremy Taylor. And they informed me that Jeremy would love to talk with me, but I would have to talk through a sign language interpreter. So here's my interview. Now, just listen through the audio, and you'll understand a lot more than you think you will at first. Okay, this is... I think I met you one time before. No, yes, yes. And I also saw you at the Scarab. Did I see you at the Scarab Club? My baby. Yeah. You know what I know, but you do. But you do. I know, so. I know, but I, you do. So you all see him, and I'll sign him. So he can you don't want to be in the picture? No. Okay. Hello, it's so nice to meet you. And I'm glad that I was able to come down on such a cold day to the show. I'm Debbie David. I know you're the artist of this work. Yeah, so the Zephyr one is run like that. Yes, please tell me your name and tell me about your process and your piece here. Yeah. So, you talk, and then you talk, and Contact you after seeing this, and I hope that will help your career because you're a beautiful person. I can tell by just a few minutes I've known you. So I'm looking around the room at paintings, and I see this one I really like, and it's by Jerry Burks, someone who has the very same last name as myself. And so I Try to find out if she's there, and I want to talk to her. Okay, I'm here at the gallery, Swords and the Plowshares, and I see this piece of art here, and I like it. I come over to look at it. I look at the 
artist's name, and it's Jerry Burks, and it's J-E-R-R-I, which is usually used by a lady named Jerry. I think men usually use J-E-R-R-Y. So anyway, Jerry Burks here has the same last name as me. And I can only imagine that she's African-American artist, if it is a lady. And I'm going to ask to see if she's here. A few of the artists are here tonight. This is the opening of the show. And I'd like to have that conversation with her about how she got the name Burks. The other time this thing happened to me was... I threw a party in Los Angeles. I had just gotten alumni, a, a Moorhead State University alumni book that uh, cost like $30 or something. And it had where everybody was from whatever years. And you could look them up by index, by name or by address, several different ways you could look up your old classmates. So I looked it up and uh, I saw the people that were in Los Angeles and I saw that there was one named Burks and it was B-U-R-K-S and usually there's an E or a something else, you don't see it B-U-R-K-S that often. And so I thought, well, I'll invite them. So I had to party. And it was a pool party that was going to go into the night, like my parties always did. My friends that had kids, they would come over and they would have their kids in the early afternoon. And then the party would evolve into an adult party as the night went on. And uh, in the afternoon, this guy came to the door, African-American gentleman. He knocked on my door and he was hot with anger. Held up my invitation right in my face. Did you invite me to this party? And I said, yeah. And I said, I did. Why did you invite me to the party? I said, well, what's your name? And he told me something, Burks. And I said, well, uh, I looked in the uh, Moorhead uh, alumni and I see uh, another Burks named an alumni. I just thought I'd invite you. How do you think I got that name Burks? Oh, he was mad. He said, yeah, do you have any other black friends? I said, yeah, I have black friends. I have lots of black friends. And he said, uh, are there any here now? And there weren't any. And uh, I said, no. And he said, well, and I'm coming in and he left. And he was still mad. Later, Michael Eccles, who stood in for Michael Dorm with me on uh, Star Trek, the next generation. He comes to the party, and I told him that, and he said, oh, I'm sorry, you know. You didn't deserve that, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's something I gotta live with, you know, being a descendant of slave owners and coming from Kentucky, mm, I think some of the stars on, uh, and I got called out a couple of times because I made remarks about my heritage. Mm. I'm not a racist. Not at all. <laughs> One of the curators of the Art is a Human Right art show that I went to wanted to uh, introduce me to a young artist named Paul Carter. And they asked Paul Carter after he had walked around the gallery to show them his favorite painting. And his favorite piece was the very same piece I had just talked about, Jerry Burke's. Aretha Franklin by Jerry Burke's. There are no coincidences. And here's uh, Paul Carter. Okay, want to see some other ones in the back? There's two right in the yellow. What's your name again? Uh, this is Paul, Carl Tennessee. Paul. Paul? Okay, hi Paul. I'm Debbie David. I'm just going to video you if it's okay while you talk about your art. This is uh, uh, Dave. Hold on, let me All right. Okay. Can, can, can you show me this piece again? Is the one over here that's yours? Uh, yeah. Right yeah, right over here. Can you? Yeah, the right here. Can you? 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 Can
I don't yeah. know what to get some other pictures. You know. Yeah. Uh, so this is yours right here? Mm-hmm. Well, tell me about it. Uh, uh, so we get the, the pictures right. Uh-huh. This is the pictures right, and this is the blue right. The yellow is the pictures right, the pictures. I see all the numbers and letters, and uh, it looks like music and uh, a, a script and a, a, a flag. It has all these different patterns built into it. Yes, it does. It does a lot of music, right? Uh huh. Now, what's the H R R R R R R R? What was that about? Well, uh, it's a lot of music. It's in the dark, it's the night, it's in the dark, it's the night. The bit of the, 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 uh, the, the train to Calvin, right? Oh, I see. And then you've got it upside down here. Yeah. It's the point of the point, a two, a three, four. Yes. And this five is a, a seven, a eight, nine, and ten. And then we have the, the four, Tennessee, the Michael. The uh, thing is, we at the, 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 the this one, the, the right here, all of these, the Alan and Vice of the Forty Three, get the towels, and then we the birthday of the cake, of the Dario, and then the, the red, yellow, green, the, the, the a small, the white show the expressway, and then the, the small, dark, the dark, the, 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 the shot, the, the, the right. Oh, okay. Now, you, uh, most artists have to sign their work, but you, Paul Carter, you don't have to because I can see your name within the codes, too. Yeah. It says Carter and two. And, and this, this, is, that, uh, is that intentional or is that, am I just seeing that? <laughs> so, we the, uh, uh, this, 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 this is that one of the small, it's, it's the small, it's the, the dog at night, uh, the, the train, 2008 point of uh, airplane, it's the, 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 uh, the regular airplane, the regular the the sea, the point is my little uh, kill, and this is the bar that you write to me, and this is the radio's animals. Wow, I see a lot of rhythm going on in there. You got like that R going in there, and it's going rrrr. That's what we were talking about. Movement, motion. Uh, uh, motion. Yes. Well, even with the lines. You know, you got to see the motion. With the, you can see the R in the middle? You got rrrr. Or it could be car too, Carter. And then we can see the other way of how this is motion. I love it. I love it. The motion is right here. The uh, right here. All these the, the motions, right? Yeah. And then when you see them framed, the whole thing. Because we have all these the jewels of and the motions, right? Yes. I and then we the, the, see the uh, the cows and then the lotion, right in the small of the lotion. And then the lines, you know, I really, really, really like what you did right here. Go on, Janelle. Okay. Just, oh, I always did like the little sparkly stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah. know what? You did, you added a lot more. You snuck <laughs> this one on Because he had a stack like this. Oh, a painting. A painting. They're kind of all similar, but he's yes. been gradually changing them. Yeah, yeah. I but told him it, it reminds me of music. Okay, Debbie here, and I've had a really uh, nice evening talking to people here and meeting some of the artists at this show of diversity art down here at the gallery, Swords into Plowshares at 33 East Adams in downtown Detroit, Michigan. And it's sponsored by the Central United Methodist Church. And uh, it's a beautiful church. It's historic. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King gave a historic speech there. And uh, there are several plaques around uh, that church about different events that have happened at, that, at this church. It's right here in beautiful downtown Detroit that has made a beautiful comeback in the 10 years I've been here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a different city now. It's an awful frigid day. Debbie's got to ride a bike home. It's getting dark. And uh, Ruby's sick. We think I might. I'm afraid she has COVID.
They're trying to kick us out in the snow. Uh, I'm fighting that still. So I better get home. I gotta take the bus home. Alright. More later. I hope. Uh, good night. So now I go into one of my famous slideshows where you'll see all the artwork that you would have seen if you'd gone to the gallery that night for the Art is a Human Right art show at the Swords into Plowshares Gallery. And now I'm going to use an old voice memo that I recorded about a few weeks after David Bowie died. It's a song about an artist. It's Andy Warhol by David Bowie. Okay, this is the first David boy I'm going to attempt since uh, he died a few days ago, about a week ago, and it was devastating, and I didn't have really get over it yet, and, uh, okay, I'll, I'll do this one because uh, I won't say why, but I'll do this one first. <clears throat> to take a cement fix the standing cinema dress my friends up just for show see them as they really are put a people in my brain two new pens to have a go love to be a gallery Put you all inside my show Andy Warhol looks a scream I hang him on my wall Andy Warhol silver scream Can't tell him apart at all And he takes a little snooze Tie him up while he's fast asleep Send him on a pleasant cruise When he wakes up on the sea He's sure to think of me and you He'll think about paint He'll think about glue What a jolly boring thing to do I hang him on my wall And a wall silver screen Can tell them apart at all Andy Warhol Andy Warhol Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol, by David Bowie.